Hi. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, guys. I thought I'd give you an update on what's going on. Um, some news for you. I've got a few things, actually. It's quite a day today. <laughs> now, hi. I'm not sure who's been following me. So, first of all, let me give you the hi. Let me give you the bad news. I've been blocked on here from posting on my page until the end of or the 20th or something of April. So until the 20th of April, I was notified today that I'm now blocked for violating uh, guidelines. But me being, you know, a silly old, you know, not exactly a young person, not clued up, I went to the guidelines and I couldn't see anything, you know, that I would, that I violated. Um, and I would never intentionally, you know, post something that violates, um, you know, the whatever the guidelines. So I was pretty much, well, and you know, I got this notification that I've been blocked for a couple of my videos violated community guidelines. And I was like, what? You know, I've never shared anything that's harmful, insightful, bad, this and that, opposite. So I was pretty much kind of thinking, well, you know, what, what have I said that's wrong? Because, you know, please let me know, because I'm being a bit stupid, but, you know, I'm not sure if I, I want to know what I've done wrong, so I won't do it again. Like, if I've done something wrong, I, these violations, every time they tell me, and I look at these things, and I can't understand where I violated. So uh, maybe I'm just being a bit stupid, but, you know, it's just me. I'm like, well, there's no, you know, if you read the community guidelines, I was kind of, well, no. So I appealed it this morning, because I saw this morning, it said they've been blocked for violating, a few of my videos violated their guidelines. So I can't post on my page. But I didn't know I could go live. I can go live there, so hi. <laughs> but I can't tell you that I'm going to do a live now. So I can't warn you and post that I'm going to do a live because I've been blocked. So I looked at the videos that they blocked this morning because I was completely baffled. I'm like, and they said, no, they did. They, you know, they're sticking to the decision. I can't post. So I was really confused. I've got a live on Wednesday, which I'll be doing with somebody. It's already scheduled and I've said that. So I was really baffled because, I mean, I, I, I tried to phone them. and like, well, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Like, what is what violations am I breaking so I don't do it again? Because, you know, I'm being really stupid here, but I really don't understand what I've done wrong. <laughs> so anyway, I looked at the videos that they've, they've flagged. So I'm going to give you a heads up for any of you that have got your own pages here, just that you know, you know, so you don't also end up in trouble. Like me, naively, you can do something and you're not aware that you're doing anything wrong, right? So what I can suggest, all the videos that got me in trouble are videos, actually one was I made, one was, this was really ironic, one video they didn't like that I made was me telling people not to believe everything they see on social media. Um, because, I mean, I have, I, there's a huge amount of fake videos. I mean, everyone's been telling people, it's been, you know, it's been well known out there. But it's so good. There's CGI technology. There is, um, you know, Project Bluebeam. There's holographic technology. There's Photoshop. The amount of fake videos out there, um, yeah, the amount of fake videos out there is horrendous, people, and especially in the truth-seeking movement and ET movement, actually. I've seen the worst of fake videos. Absolutely. So you must understand the technology they have. They're able to take people's voices and change it, the face overlap, the face voice, everything. I mean, fake ET, uh, UFOs, they look very real. So it's very, very difficult for, for some, someone to tell the difference. And this is why I said discernment, it's energy. So I made a video telling people, be very careful. Don't believe everything you see on social media and share it because a lot of it is fake. And I, and I gave up telling people. That video got blocked. So that video, they said, violated the community guidelines. Me telling people to be careful of disinformation and misinformation. <laughs> got me, got, got red flagged. I mean, I was blown away. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm trying to tell people, I'm trying to discourage people from sharing fake, fake stuff. <laughs> and I got blocked for saying that. So anyway, so there was one. I, I really, that, that dumbfounded me. So, so that one got flagged. Me telling people to be very careful because it's it's full of it. Social media is full of these uh, faked, you know, faked videos, photoshopped. Wow, it's really bad, and especially in the truth of movement and the, and the whatever. Anyway, ET movement, yeah, it's insane. <laughs> so that one, I was like, okay, well, I mean, that, that one gobsmacked because that's authentic. That was me talking three minute video saying, people, please be careful. I've seen so much out there. I mean, it's unbelievable, and that one was blocked. So I removed it. I, I still like, I'm just, um, because
because it says you're not allowed to share disinformation. I wasn't sharing. I'm telling, I'm warning people of the disinformation, but I got in trouble for saying that. So, okay, that one, I'm, I'm still, maybe I'm stupid. I'm blonde and I'm 60. Who knows? Okay. So excuse me if I'm a bit naive here, but I'm really, it's not like I can even phone TikTok like, and say, please explain to me that where I'm going wrong. I don't know. Okay. So there's a warning. There was one for any of you that are locating content. I know it's insane. So there we are. That got me in trouble. The next video, this is a, this is a warning to a lot of you. So play, play heed any of you that have got channels out there, please. There's many channels on TikTok that share very nice motivational stuff. Like, um, you know, Joe Dispenza's stuff, um, Gaia TV, motivational stuff, you know, things like that. They cut clips, they're making clips, short videos, you know, which I share because they're really good. I got in trouble for sharing some of those. I mean, that just, blew. it's not, and I was thinking, huh? Because they're all over the internet. I mean, maybe I'm being stupid, I don't know. Like, you do it with someone. Some videos, some people's videos, you can't do it or you can't stitch, right? Especially if they're three minute videos. Some you can download and upload, you know, whatever yourself again. Now, the content I'm sharing is not original. People have got like channels, you know, they're, just, they're mixing and matching and they're sharing motivational stuff. So yesterday or the day before, I shared three videos I found on TikTok. I don't know whose page it was. It didn't allow me to do it, but it allowed me to download and, and share or copy, whatever it was, um, you know, to repost them. They were videos about the brain. Now, I found this useful information, especially to people following me, because this is about the brain and higher consciousness, that they've discovered um, like um, almost teeny little magnets in the brain, right? Magnetic, sort of magnetic crystals our brain, on our brain. And these three short videos, this guy, had, and he had taken from Gaia TV or someone, it, was, it isn't even his original. So whoever shared this on TikTok, it isn't their content in the first place. It isn't originally, right? I shared that. That got me in trouble. Not the three videos, one of them. So they, they, I violated community standards by sharing one of those out of the three of those videos, which is completely, so I'm like, okay, this is not fake science. It's, it's, it's got no bad content, no conspiracy, no anything in it. Um, but anyway, I don't know. So maybe because it's not original content, but then, then they're sharing it. I mean, I'm, anyway, who knows? So, so I'm going to warn you not to share other people's stuff that they post, right? Like, like that one, like Gaia TV, Joe Dispenza. Um, these are clips and cuts. People, you know, take clips of who knows. But they, that's what I'm saying. But it's creating. They're creating videos out of someone else's bits and pieces content. And some of it's really good. So you want to share it. Now, I assume TikTok is about collaborating and sharing. So which I was doing, I prefer to do it so people can see where it comes from. But sometimes it doesn't allow you to do it or copy. Anyway, so I wanted to really share this information because I don't know where it was from and it was really good. So I shared those three-part short videos yesterday, hang on, on my page, which shows you, you know, about the brain. So that got me in trouble. The one, the one they said violated Kimmy. So okay, I'm like, okay, all right. I'm still confused. What violations, you know, so I don't do it again. So now I'm thinking, oh, shit, what am I supposed to do and not supposed to do? Because... I'm obviously making a lot of mistakes here, yeah? <laughs> and, and it's not consciously, not willingly at all. Okay, so there we are. My one video warning people about disinformation got, 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 got me in trouble. It was a while back, but it got blocked. Um, the one I shared, there's another one I shared that had 7,000 views. A really beautiful motivational video that helps people. It makes you think of not to hang on. It's, it te basically, it's telling, it was, a, it was a gentleman in his classroom. Somebody shared it. It wasn't their original content either. I don't know. Who knows who uploaded these things on social media, where they even come from? Nobody knows. On someone's page, they shared this video of this doctor giving a lecture in, uni I don't know, class, university, high school, wherever it was, with a glass of water. Yeah, hi, Thomas. I'm trying to explain which one's got me in trouble. With a, uh, I <laughs> baffles one's mind. It was the gentleman giving a talk with a glass of water, saying... All right, hold this glass of water. Now, why, now why, you know, why is it heavy? So basically, the longer you hold the glass of water, the more heavy it gets. That is, so in other words, it's referring to emotions. If you hang on to hurt and pain and suffering, it becomes very heavy. It weighs you down. Don't hold on to things. And it's really true. And I thought, wow, what a lovely thing. What a, you know, what a lovely thing. And I shared that. I thought it was really lovely. And things like that, you want to share them. They help people.
Actually, things that are informative are helping people, right? <laughs> that one got me in trouble because apparently the original content, whoever originally shared that, has been removed. Well, how would I know that? When I shared it, it was there. That's how I could share it, right? I duetted that video. So I took it from that person's page and I made a duet with it. And now apparently the original content is no longer available. So it got me in trouble. So if you share something down the line and somebody removes it, you can get in trouble because the original content is no longer available. I'm like totally blown away. I'm thinking, well, how the hell can I do anything? Or some poor bugger, you know, removes one of their videos I happen to share and I get in trouble down the line for violating because the original video has been removed. Well, how would, you, how would anyone even know when it's up and where? Oh, my gosh. Anyway, so look, sorry, people. I'm not able to share posts now, three-minute videos or posts on my page for you for until April. Until the 20th of April, I'm banned, blocked from posting. I can't share anything on my TikTok page. So I thought I'd be banned from going live. No. Hello. <laughs> so I, was, I thought I'll try it. Let me see you know, if it works. Because I've got an interview. Thomas and I are doing a lovely chat on Wednesday to help people. All useful content I'm trying to share. Nothing insightful or anything, you know, negative that I would purposely know, you know, that's bad or that's conspiracy or anything. You know, well, anyway. <laughs> so there we are. So warning to you, if you see good content like me, like I've often told you, I've seen wonderful content on there. I'd love to show you people. It's useful stuff that it, and it's useful to know. It's helpful. But you've got to be careful now because if you do, you can get in trouble like me. This is helpful, useful information, really motivation, really, it'll really, you know, and that's why I got 7,000 views. It was really liked only on my page alone. But whoever originally up, maybe posted that video removed it. So then it, it, I, I don't understand how they work. So all I can say is maybe only share original content, like, you know, like me making a video, talking whatever, my opinion, which is really, you know, not worth much. But there we are. Everyone's got, you know, there's lots of that out there. My, my intuition, my heart, whatever comes through. I'm telling my story. So I can tell you, so maybe those, because I've duetted with those, and so far I haven't got in trouble dueting anybody, you know, with other people's original stuff. But it's, clips like this it's like clips of you know lectures and talks but there are pages out there there's pages on tiktok and all they do is share like joe dispenser's work gaia tv's work all different clips they're not it's not original it isn't their own work so i'm going to warn you people out there because if i'm sharing it you're going to have your whole page removed because it's not apparently you're not allowed to share anything it's not create your original creative content you didn't create it I'm really confused because people here like copy someone's video and just change the music and that's fine. So I think you're allowed to you're allowed to copy something if you make a change to it. I would presume. And I really I'm totally stupid. I mean that'll probably get me in trouble too. Maybe it's not. But other people are doing that. I mean this is what it is. You can stitch, right? So you can take someone's content and alter it and add music. You've made a different version of it. So anyway, I, I really don't know. I might get in trouble again if I try something. I don't know. Because they're vi if you read the guidelines, I think they're very vague. It's very vague. Otherwise, you know, if it wasn't so vague, I would never have shared it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have shared those things if I knew that you weren't allowed to share things like that. You know, take someone and copy, paste their, you know, show. I mean, I'm happy to say where it comes from. If the provider lets you, like mine, you can do it, you can, unless they're three-minute ones, you can't, I don't know. And, for, and I moaned about this, TikTok should let us share so we can collaborate and share each other's stuff. That's how people get to know there's other creators out there. Like Thomas, I've shared one or two of Thomas's stuff because it's really good. He's got some good original ideas. So I want you guys to know, and you can go, oh, that's nice, go and follow him. It's about collaboration and working together. So anyway, I'm I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so that's out of the way now. Yeah, I I am really blown away. So they decided they decided to come after my page and all the, and all of a sudden and all these videos are now I'm in the wrong. There's three of them. Like one one of me is warning people, please don't share some fake. You know, you got to be careful when you believe these. There's a lot of fake sh photoshopped uh, pictures, videos. You know, out there, yeah. Anyway, in in the truther movement and in the ET movement, there's a lot of it, people. 
Anyway, that got me in trouble for saying that. Be careful, there's a lot of disinformation and misinformation out there. I'm not allowed to say that for some reason, <laughs> which, which just blows my mind. But yeah, they're telling you, one of the rules is you not to, you know, don't do anything misleading or fake, which I'm telling people is, you know, be careful when you, you know. Anyway, who knows? So there we are, that's out the way. Um, so I won't, I won't be able to post on my page. So I'm just going to give you a heads up because if the, it's, it's, I presume it's AI doing this, that's why I appealed it. I thought, okay, well, the AI, you know, it's, it's a computer. It just flags anything and maybe got confused because I went and read their guidelines and I was really baffled because I thought, well, I haven't, there's no insightful, there's no hateful, there's no, there's no rude, there's no, everything is, it is, is motivational, is, is guidance, is, you know, it's not, anyway, whatever. All right. Then the second thing is, um, as you guys know, I'm, that's why I'm talking about the high. I'm talking about the ascension process, the spiritual, the spiritual path. And I went into a brief video about the different levels of it. You know, if you have your Kundalini awakening or if you're on this uh, you know, ascension path, right, you go through different levels. Now, I'm not going to comment, but you, you either want to call them levels of consciousness you can call them dimensions, you can call them what you want, ego, whatever, right, shadow work. But this is what you raise up in, if when you're on your, through your third eye, when you start the spiritual journey, right, uh, consciously. So you, what you would, what you, what you call, what you think is that you start off with is, first of all, you see, oh my gosh, there's light, okay, there's something out there, creator. And then you will start, it looks all good in the beginning, and then you will start maybe seeing your guides and things. They'll pop in, guides and stuff will come down, and then you start shadow work. Then you start what we call going through the demonic realm. So depending on you, what shadows, what shit you've got in your closet and energies and past lives, you know, what hasn't been cleared. If you haven't gone for past life regressions and you, ju you just went bang into it, or however you'd got your awakening without warning and without guidance, you've thrown in the deep end, right? So now depending on your on your... You know, let's say energy, consciousness, whatever you've experienced, you could have a really bad time. So you could have a real lot of dark, dense energy. You've got to transcend, which is which is your which you say is your lowest form of consciousness, which we've been in the three D, the very dense, the ego, the fear. So the ego is paranoid. You have a lot of demonic, dark energies. You got to, whatever. You can fight all these things, and then you can also bump up. You bump up then into the ET realm, and you could also come across negative ET. So you can bump, you've got to go through all these realms, right? These these phases. You will start seeing and bumping and then learning having to also not fear that and you can, you know, that whole thing. And then you go up, you get to the Lotus Throne, which they talk about, which I didn't, didn't have a clue what a bloody thing was. When this thing landed, I thought it was a gift. I thought, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Why am I getting that? What's that? When this lotus flower descended on me, then I was sitting on this thing. It was a very pretty multicolored flower thing. And I thought, oh, wow, okay. I hadn't a clue. And I asked anyone if they knew what it was because I didn't study Buddhism or yogi or any of that sort of stuff. So when this flower came, I was like, oh, wow, okay, it's a gift. I'm getting another gift in the astral. And then I found out down the line when I looked it up what it meant because my one of my friends who's a reader as well said to me, no, that's a gift for you reaching, uh, you've achieved something or whatever. So I was like, okay. And then I was trying to think, well, what have I achieved? What does this mean? So I looked it up and I didn't quite get an answer until recently when I'm following, I came across some videos on, on YouTube and I share them. If you go to my YouTube channel, I share a lot of different videos and posts from different from different people that have good content. So I don't only share my lives, because my lives that I make, I upload them to TikTok. And then I share like interesting things like this about Samadhi, about, you know, whatever, the death of the ego, other channels, you know, which are which are going to help you on this journey. So I post those. So I came across a yogi who's got a who's got an ashram. He teaches he's a very wise man. You can see he's very well read. And of course I'm not in this lifetime, any of these things. So here's this yogi master. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, no, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm already blocked on TikTok. So I thought that, I cropped that up. Sorry, people. And not intentionally, I'm really sorry. I was like, I, I'm really, and that's why I said, oh, well, sorry, my appeal didn't go through. They said, no, my stuff, I violated their community guidelines. So my appeal, you know, I, I'm still blocked. So I'm like, okay, well, I, I'm on, please turn. Anyway, I don't know what I've done wrong. So I'm weary of sharing stuff now because I think, oh, what 
you know what can't, what what am i violating so i don't i don't want to you know so i understand so i don't violate anymore anyway never mind okay so i reached the lotus throne and when i came across this yogi giving lectures and he talks about this uh the lotus throne da, 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 and, and oh that's interesting it's the first video i came across talking about this and he explains it it's a level of consciousness that you get but then there's another level where you have to be where you can secure it so you haven't so you one foot in put it this way and one foot still in the ego still in this delusion or maya in the maya right now i was now working my way up to to samadhi to to mm, how do you say securing your uh, anyway this is me I, i'm just going through you know coming it's coming down to me it's not i'm not working through any yogi anyone so i'm just doing it it's just a natural process I'm going through with no guru, no guidance, nothing. I, I literally have done this journey on my own without a guru, without any clue, um, you know, bumped my way up through the astral and through the, you know, it was like, wow, 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 bang, bang, bang. Learn as you go, right? <laughs> so, yeah, very. so then I ended up today, I had a very long meditation, a more than one. Now, after I went to that, I wanted obviously now to achieve, you know, the final, you want to get what they call freedom, final freedom from the 3D realm, from this, whatever, everything, right? Uh, as the masters did on the planet. So this was my aim. And I've been very committed to my spiritual journey. Since I started this journey, I've been very committed. I'm very serious. I've been taking it and I really have, uh, you know, trying not to. And I've always asked for guidance and do the right thing, not by myself, but always do what's good for everyone, you know, for the greatest good. Not just for, not from the ego. And I was very scared of making the wrong decisions from ego and everything. I always ask, you know, I was always asked for the highest perspective, for guidance. Um, da, 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 da. I, I, I sought it, you know, to be, I, from my heart. I, you know, so I was trying my best and trying to, you know, whatever. Anyway, never mind. Today, I saw the... Today, I said, yeah, I got there. Wow, it was amazing. So what I can tell you is that you have to realize it and see it for yourself. Because it's it's very... It depends how far you are and if you, if you want to get there. Some people don't want to get there in this lifetime or, you know, not, not wanting to and not consciously, not... You know, it depends on your intent, your everything, who knows. So... Anyway, there we are. Um, what you will realize is that one of the steps you will get to when you get past there is you will see that you are source. Now, we all know that, but we still got the separation. Oh, my higher self or something is always like an intermediary. We still not. No, you're not. You are absolutely. You are source. I know it sounds funny. And even I was saying it. It takes a while till you, you slowly start realizing. You slowly start molding as one, not as a separate thing. So you and source are of the same thing, one of the same, but it takes a while till you actually integrate that. So you'll see that, and then you what you will see is that you are source watching this. So it's like you are source, and you are looking down and watching like you are the dream. Like I'm say like I'm manifesting you, I'm projecting you. So you are just my movie. So I am source, and I'm. Then you realize, oh my gosh, this you are not this. You are the movie. You are source watching the movie. Anyway, anyway, that, that was a wow. And then you kind of, you know, you go down again. So today, what I managed to, what I managed to, I went through a long thing. I was actually asking for guidance about this and that. And I'm on, because of this, I've been tests. Things came in my path. And you don't want to take the wrong path. And I just didn't feel in, in alignment yesterday. Sorry. I see my, I need to pl put my plug on. It would help. My battery's about to flick up flat. Sorry, people. I'm, I'm relaxing. Uh, I've been in quite a day. So what you realize, it is really strange to, to uh, anyway, so I was asking for, I just felt out of alignment. So I, and I was going through some tests. I had to do some clearing and I thought, okay, something's there. So I was trying to dig into what was causing the problem, the clearing, da, 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 da. And then I, then I saw, exactly, this is not me. This, all of it, is the dream. I am pure consciousness. I'm not here. So what you will, what you will, what you will see or be is you'll go back to being consciousness. You are just consciousness. You were never here. 
you are not in this body. You are not the body. What you are doing is projecting your consciousness into this avatar. Say like I'm projecting like a, 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 yeah, a holographic. So I'm projecting. You are source. You never left source. You are still there. This is, this is going to sound strange to a lot of you. You've got to see it. You've got to get there. So what you actually are, right, is say any of you that have experienced source, you will know that source, God, the creator, is, is a massive light. It's an incredible white light of consciousness, just in an incredible energy, beautiful love, consciousness, peace, this whole thing. You are part of that. So you are like a spark, a piece of energy in, in the entire everything of everything, right? So say this all around you is the cloud, right? All of it, everything it is, you are part of the one big mess. Now, while you are dreaming or playing human, me, John, honor, whatever, while you're playing this, all you are, all you're doing is creating a blip. So this is very hard to explain. You are pure consciousness. You are not here. You never left source. This is, you're not in this body. This is all an illusion. This is a, hard, a thing. You go back and you are one consciousness. Not in the body at all. All of you are not here. You are back there. You are all playing. All you've got to do is now you, you've, just, you've made a distortion in the wave almost. So while you're playing this 3D, you've you made a distortion, you've dropped your frequency, or you're not you're not in sync with a, you're not in one coherent wave, quantum wave or frequency. You've made a blip in the wave of frequency. This is your dream. When you now sync your energies or co you go, come back into a year, coherent state of consciousness, you sync again with all that is which you now think is death, you become one again with source. All it is, is you become a coherent consciousness, frequency wave again. How we're, anyway, I'm just telling you, there we are. Okay. Wow. So then you realize that you are not, you are now up here watching, I'm watching myself. I'm like there watching like myself like a movie. And the whole idea is not to attach back into the game, to detach from everything, or you will stay here. As long as you p remain attached to this illusion or any part of it, people, human, your kids, your body, which I know is nonsense. I've, I've, I've surrendered all to source. I have no attachment to this body at all because I know you don't die. I've been through that one already. I had a near death. Hi. So I know it's absolutely all, you know, uh, fantasy. You know, you don't die. It's wonderful. Um, it's, it's actually amazing, you know. But that was still in my thing. I still, you know, thinking, oh, you leave your body, you know, this whole, anyway, never mind. <laughs> Which the Buddhist monks and this, whatever they're called, they call it a Maha Samadhi. That is the ultimate state of realization or, or awakening, like the Buddha reached, enlightenment. Pure enlightenment or whatever it is. But according to some of the videos I've just watched, when you reach that, you normally don't stay in your body for long because now you've, you're in sync with all that is, the energy, the, the source, your, your physical vessel, which you think is your physical vessel, won't maintain a physical vessel anymore. So you lose your body fairly not long after you've attained that because your frequency vibration now where it will, you know, you're back with the one, you can't maintain this blip, so you will leave your body. Oh, whoopee, not like you're losing anything. Trust me, it's so freaking awesome when you leave your bloody body. It's amazing being back with the one. But I just, I'd never realized that you, that you, oh, anyway. There we are. If you ever get there, um, it's amazing. But you have to consciously, willingly devote your complete uh, everything to God, to source. You see? And that comes in stages. I can understand why now. Because as I said to you guys a while ago, my last live I posted a video on, on my YouTube. This is, you're not the body. Don't attach to the body. People are so scared of dying. You see, this is a nonsense. You know, you're not, the, you're not that. People are frightened of dying because they think this is so you taught that this is, this is it. You, this is who you are. You are not this at all. All it is is energy that's put in together in such a way 
you're like a blip. You've made a blip in the... Anyway, I've never seen... Yeah, we're amazing. So there we are. I thought I'll share that with you. Anybody on the, you know, on the journey, it is fascinating um, to experience it and amazing. But then remember the game's over now because you now have, you know, the whole truth. There's no point you staying here because you've come what you came to do. All of you have come to this planet to find your way back to source one way or another. You're going to find, we're all going back to one coherent thing. Now, the whole idea is to try and do this while you're alive, consciously, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know why, but you can also transcend that. So, yeah, it's, a, it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, anyway, I'm very sorry I've been blocked now, so I can't even share this on my page. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, I'm sharing useful, nice, helpful content to people to help them, and it's violating or... or original content authenticity and one of the content original content's been removed or whoever posted it removed it or they removed it so now i'm violating by sharing or whatever i don't know <laughs> i don't so i'll be making lives i've got one coming up on wednesday with thomas um and i'll be doing but i can't notify you so what i'm going to do anyone who's interested you know as long as i'm still let's p pretend i'm still in this physical body who knows for how long I've got no attachment to it. So, you know, the game, as I say, there is no point me. The game, when you realize this is all a game now, it's like, say you're playing PlayStation or any game, right? You reach the end of it. There's no point carrying on playing because now you've you've won the game or whatever it is. You, you know, you can't keep on playing. It's like when you sink the last game of pool, the last ball, you can't keep playing. So I have no no need and no desire to stay attached to the this dimension reality body human nonsense any of us because why wow, it's it's a game it's an illusion i don't want to you know now i don't want to um, you realize you're in a maya i don't have no attachment to staying playing maya anymore and in this illusion you see i'm very keen to drop the physical vessel and and return to my where i you know my actual thing to to sink the wave again, to be in coherence with the one, yeah, with the, just a coherent wave, basically. There's no physical existence, yeah, it's a lot of nonsense. So there we are. So who knows, you know, I have no attachment to, to be remaining on the earth plane or a playing human, whatever you <laughs> because it's, you know, whatever, anyway. So while I'm still... You know, I don't know how long it takes to leave the body. Who knows? Let's see. You know, whatever it is. You know, it depends, I suppose, if you can keep your attachment. So, as I say, I have a live planned on Wednesday with Thomas. Yeah, but it's an illusion. It's a dream. Because you think it does. Because you're buying into it. You're attaching to anything. If you attach to the body, to pain, you're believing it. You see it's what you resist. They say it's weird anyway. So, yeah, I've got a live on Wednesday. Uh, any more lives? What I'll do if I've got any more lives scheduled, like people that, you know, I've got some people that are wanting to do lives with me. Anyone's welcome, please. Another thing is some poor lady the other day told me, oh, wow, because I started following her. She's really happy I'm following her because I've got so many followers. I'm like, you know, sorry, but we're all equal. You know, I don't care if you Joe Soap, the queen or the king. I see you at the same level, I don't see you any higher. I've never played that celebrity thing. I've never, I, I've never seen anybody as different or important or oh my gosh, you know, <gasps> I'm intimidated by anyone because they have title or wealth. It's I have not been one of those beings or one of those dreamers that believed any of that nonsense. So anybody is welcome. Just letting you know to make a live with me. If you obviously have, you know, the same something to talk about on this, you have questions that you in this path or you've got useful thing to share or you want to ask questions about your spiritual journey, you know, the ET thing, the demonic realm, we can share stories. Please, you don't think because, oh, Honor's got so many followers, absolutely bloody nonsense. You know, you can approach me, anybody, <laughs> you know, it's absolute rubbish. So there is no one better than anybody else or, you know, that's ego. If they, then if they believe that you're very much in the ego and in the Maya, very in the Maya, because you all beautiful people are still back with me in the cloud. 
You know what I mean? You're all there. So, you know, you're all, you're all still there. You don't realize you haven't left. You're still back there. <laughs> you just, you're, you're, you're going you know, to sink back your vibration and frequency. You are not, you've got, you made a blip in this, in the wave. Oh, I can't explain it. It's so strange. Yeah. Uh, so you are vibrating just, just out of sync with, the, with all that is, with source. While you're pretending you're playing this game or dropping into human, whatever you think you're doing, you drop in dimension, you're dropping consciousness freak. That's all it is. You got to see it to people. You got to experience it because otherwise it's Chinese to you. You know, and that's why you know. You got to you got to consciously go there. So there we are. Never mind the fact. If you want to make a live with me, please let me know. Um, now you can add me. Apparently, you have to add me as a friend to message me or some nonsense. I can't post. I can I can look at your comments. So you can comment under my, one of my videos. Um, or send me a friend request or something. Okay. Follow me and I can follow you back. And then message me or send me. If you can't message me, if you want to make a live, comment under one of my videos saying, I've added you as a friend. Please add me as a friend because I'd like to do a live with you. And we can chat. And then we can chat. And you can tell me what you want to do a live about. And we can agree to do a live. So how to notify people that are following me? I'm going to have to notify them via YouTube when I've got and Facebook. So what I'll do is I'll make a post on my Facebook page and I'll tell people I'll be doing a live on TikTok this day with so-and-so and what we'll be covering. So any video I make on Facebook, I make live to the public. So anybody can go to my Facebook page, which you will find on my TikTok page. If you go to my link tree, You'll see it will give you a link to my Facebook and my YouTube. So please, people, you are very welcome. There's other people that are going to be doing lives with me coming up if I'm still in the in this energy form. If I, you know, as I say, I don't know because I'm new to this, and as I say, what I've what I've seen is I don't know. You know, <laughs> I have no attachment to staying on this planet. Let me tell you. Um, there's no point of you going to this through this path, you know, if you're not if you're not going to go through with it. Um, you know, now to the next level. So if I'm now ready to leave the physical, what you would call the vessel, to the next level, oh yeah, I'm I'm off off you you know there we are bye bye, and don't be sad because you're all back there. So if I die, you should celebrate, or you think I'm dead. If I fall away from the dream and I'm no longer in your dream. You should celebrate. Wow, amazing. She and be happy for me because I've reached the next level, okay, of existence. <sighs> and I will tell you, people, it is challenging. <laughs> challenging journey. Wow, to get through this life, this 3D life was a hell of a challenge. Wow. And to think I was, yeah, wow. I, yeah, weird. I had to go through a near death as well, first as well. <laughs> totally bizarre. To almost kill myself to come back and then work my way up to, oh, well, to, to the real me, whatever. Anyway, the actual truth, the ultimate enlightenment, whatever, you know. Um, yeah. Being, sinking yourself, oh, it's so amazing. Being back with all that is, with the one. That's who we really are. And to be back, everyone wants to, Everybody's seeking God, source, right? Because you miss it, that's why. You're, you're innately seeking that, that light. Because it's amazing, because that's who you are, that's where you belong. So to go back to where you belong is absolutely awesome. And so if I, when I do, and if I do leave the planet, wherever that might be, who knows? Don't be sad, ever. You should say, wow. Okay, there we are. Okay, so I shall notify you people. All right. I'm very sorry about that. I had no idea that I did anything wrong. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I would never share something that would be like, you know, I preach peace, unity, love. I'm trying to help people, guide them, tell